and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know, I know, I know, I've been missing for a little while and this is probably the first video I've filmed in 2021. Um, I don't really know what to put up, so today I'm literally going to show you my skincare routine. No one's asked me, I'm just giving it up, innit? it? Um, so I'm going to start with the products that I like to use. My cleanser first, which is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel, one of my favourites. I've probably been using this on and off since I was about 16 and yeah, it doesn't give me any sensitivity. I don't get, it doesn't feel harsh, that's the main thing. Because I've got quite um, dry skin, I always look for products that don't make my skin feel really dry. So this is one of the products that are great for that. So pump full, water. And I work it in for one minute. I do this for six seconds and then I rinse off and then I do it again for six seconds and I rinse off. I got this technique from the LA Beautologist and in all honesty since I've been doing that I find I get this breakouts, I find around here doesn't get so congested, my skin feels a lot more supple and soft so yeah you might want to try that one out too. So, and now that we've rinsed that off um, I'm gonna go in with my Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. Um, this contains a silic acid I find over a long period of time my skin just looks amazing, it just brightens it, doesn't look so dull, um, it, makes it, your, it makes your skin feel really smooth as well, like really, really smooth. I probably use this about twice, three times a week, if I can be bothered. Um, but if I know I've had like breakouts and I'll keep using it quite um, frequently, but yes. Yeah. This is the next bit, it comes in like a little powder form. Um, so I'm not going to pour that much, I'm going to move like a, ta a teaspoon on here and mix it with a little bit of water. Um... I'm gonna work that in for one minute as well. It comes like a paste, it's not coarse, it doesn't feel rough on the skin. I'm gonna work this in for a minute as well. Concentrating on like the areas that get congested, which will be around your nose, chin, cool on the mouth, and kind of near my hairline. I find around my hairline, if I don't scrub around there too well, I end up getting spots. I found when I was in Ghana, I ended up breaking out a lot, partly because I started eating meat again, and then also because, um, I ran out of my face cream and I started using um, a different face cream and oh my god my skin went ballistic loads of spots it was so annoying I tend to sometimes I get like spots on my chest as well so sometimes I'll use this on my chest as well like help get rid of that gotta rinse that off so I'm just gonna pat my face dry and then one of the things I learned from the LA Beautologist was to use a toner in between every step. So I'm going to put a face mask on now. So the toner I'm going to use was recommended by LA Beautologist. It's this one. It's the Rose Water Facial Toner by Heritage Store. Love it. This makes my skin feel so good, so hydrated, so moisturised. It feels supple and soft as well. Um, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. I'm guessing that's the reason why it makes my skin feel like very supple and very hydrated as well got aloe vera in it, quite a few other little bits and bobs in it. So let's just put a bit on here my hand. And then um, just tap it into my face. Basically. So I put on, before I put my mask. So you can see my face already looks like pretty good. Then I'm gonna put on my Kills face mask. It's the turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. This is one of my favorite products. This and the daily micro exfoliant are my favorite products. I've noticed when I use the daily micro exfoliant, my skin becomes brighter and doesn't look so dull. And when I use this, when I first started using it, everyone would be like on FaceTime, "Oh, your skin looks really, your skin looks, mm, it looks nice." So yeah, it's a bit messy though. So it says to put it on, I think about 10 minutes. Yeah. Leave it on for 10 minutes. <laughs> and then, yeah, leave it on for 10 minutes, then work it in and rinse it off. So yeah. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. Um, it has turmeric in it. And if anybody who's done research on products that are good for brightening your skin, turmeric is great for that and veins dark marks as well. So I'll be back. Um, what I was going to say about this, so this has eucalyptus in it and also cranberry seeds, so it is a little bit coarse, so if you're not a fan of coarse kind of exfoliants, I wouldn't recommend this, 
also um the eucalyptus does give it like a slightly tingly mild or like very mild not burly but like tingly feel to it so if you don't like those kind of things then maybe i wouldn't but i do really like this and i found when i first started using it, i used it three times a week and i found that my skin was very bright and very glowy and everyone gave me so many compliments on it so the instructions are to work in after leaving on for 10 minutes mine's been on for about 40 minutes and then let me convince up so i'm going to try and work it in now but the water's freezing Okay, so you can treat it to get a bit softer, <laughs> but I'm going to switch this in the bathroom because there's no way I can do this in here. Let's see if a bit of water starts moving. Whew. So I've just rinsed that off. Did I actually get it all off? Yeah, I always end up with something like I've rinsed it all off. So we're going to put some toner in. One again, the same one. into my skin and the next thing I'm going to use is the Kiehl's Hydro Plump and Retexturizing Serum um, I've got very dry skin um, so I'm always trying to like find ways to put moisture in it hence why I use the rose toner and also um, this the key thing about this is that it makes my skin feel very smooth and very supple and also it removes texture from my skin so I find I have I think it could be seborrheic dermatitis or eczema, something is on, some type of dermatitis comes up on my cheeks. So it can be very patchy, quite texturized here, which, cause I've been using this, if I stop using it for about a week, two weeks or so, you start to see it come back. But since using this, I don't see it, I don't feel it. Lose a, it has a very silky feel on the skin as well. That's how much I'm using. It's in a pump form. So that goes on next. I'll work that into my skin. It's quite, it's very light. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, and I noticed, I think it helps me lock in my moisture. I don't know if it's the toner or when I added the serum, but I think using this whole, all of these products has helped my moisture levels as well. My skin's all dehydrated. Something I battle with a lot because I have dry skin. Okay, so next, we're gonna use toner again. So yeah, I'm gonna put toner on again, pat it into my skin. And even now my skin looks quite moisturized, so it doesn't look dry. We still got a little bit more to do. Uh, so next we're using the Kills Ultra Face Cream. Um, a friend, my friend Phil put me on this. Um, Cause I used to use the Dermalogica, one of their face creams, it just wasn't moisturized enough and the bottle just finished like after two months and I was just like, mm, I'm paying 50 pounds. I started using this. Use about this much. How do I describe it? It's not too heavy. It's quite, my skin's dry so I like quite nourishing creams. So I put about that much and then I'm gonna add the Roche Posay SPF. You got wet SPF all the time, girls. Which is probably about the same amount of SPF as well as um, face cream. So if you can see the amount there, the SPF is running. I always mix it together and slap it on my face. Really, I must say the La Roche Posay um, SPF does not leave a white cast. Not my favourite thing about it. I think I actually put too much cream on, but <laughs> okay. So the next, oops. If I've got like, if it's maybe like, I probably just come back from holiday. I would use this like every day for about a week or two, and then I wouldn't use it for a while, but. Um, because it's night time, I'm going to use the Midnight Recovery Tran um, Concentrate. It's got lavender in it, it smells really good. It's a light oil, um, just to make the the fa your face feel greasy or like heavy. It takes a little while to seep in, so right now it's about 6 o'clock. I'm not going to bed till about midnight, so I've got loads of time to just work into my skin. But I think, what, an hour or so and you're good to go? Anyway, so it's got a dropper lid. One, two, three, four drops. It says to work into your hands for a little while, about three four seconds, and then pat it on your face. And I'm just gonna do that. So can I just say guys, this routine is only for when like, um, like a Sunday when I've got time and stuff. I do not do all of this every day of the week. No way, I don't have time. 
So if anything, what I do the most is special cleansing gel, daily micro exfoliant, um, then I use my toner, my retexturizing plumping serum from Kiehl's, um, toner again, face cream SPF. I wouldn't normally use oil, but my skin's been a bit dry from holiday, so I've been using oil. And then maybe if I get time or I don't know when I start work late, then I'll use the mask. But the mask actually isn't, don't take that long to do. But yeah, is the last thing I like to add is this one. This is the Kills Butter Mask for Lips, which is really nice. This is really creamy. Makes your lips feel very soft. I like to use this before I put on makeup a lot of time. This is good. <laughs> really good. Yeah, that's my routine for my face. Um, any questions, ask below. By the way, I'm not obviously a beautician, but I'm just showing you what works for me. Let me know if you tried. Hmm? Let me know if you tried. It. My mum has hate you, but let me know if you've tried any of the products below. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.